where are you there you are hey bhagwan this technology is bappa. not <laughs> not so good with this ganpati bappa morya i also just finished my aarti how are you doing i'm going happy i've been watching you try to figure things out and i've been oh man i'm so sorry i must have looked like such a fool in this day and age trying to figure out a simple thing which is so simple for others but not so simple for me anyways uh where are you right now i'm in maharashtra kahan pe ho acha you're not disclosing your no no i'm in alipur the location you're in alipur i thought some recently, secret place recently somebody asked me and uh, that was a few weeks back and i said i'm in kerala so i thought it's the good to see ah, you my man okay. uh good to see you as well yeah listen i know this is a a promotional thing uh for khuda hafiz but i want to tell you i genuinely and genuinely admire you and i really love your work and uh, there is uh, a lot about you that uh, inspires me the way you are there's a there's a gentleness about you there is uh, your tough on the exterior i can see your heart i can see your soul through your eyes you are uh, a very very incredible example for all of us my mom is a big fan of you uh, you uh, i think i told you that uh and your mom i love man so you know i chatted with pinky ma'am and she's exceptional <coughs> like you said that you can yeah. see it too like i had no idea she had already called you i had no idea uh, i had a nice she, chat she, with her yeah that's that's uh, so like that all thing. the good things you said to me a true warrior will recognize another warrior so thank you and your mom is the real warrior because you know when uh-huh. she messaged me and i was telling you about this that it was quite it was so nice to get a message from an amazing woman um, who raised a kid so well very very i felt very nice that's so nice thank you she i'm sure she's watching this so she, she's going to love it uh, she's a big fan my mom's watching it too how sweet hello to both the moms love you hello to both the moms so listen i uh, let's let's uh, let me ask you some of the things that i wanted to ask you about the film you know i see you and i know that you're capable of doing incredible action and and uh, you have like from the uh, from your posture to your your grace you have an action hero's grace but in this film specifically you had to let go of that because you were playing a character and i have done that sometimes in my life and i know it it requires a lot of uh, uh courage and conviction in the character to let go of the uh postures you know the the posturing that that you have been trained in uh, i didn't see any of that throughout the film and that is applause worthy because that really uh, shows that you are trying to immerse yourself into the character and uh, i really want to ask you was was that uh, something that uh, you had to decide was that a decision you took you know prithik people haven't really come to me with scripts like this where i really have to play a real life character normally yeah. they come to me with biopics of some athletes or some bodybuilders so it was quite new for me and um, so the way i've been trained i my i have a erect spine everything is uh, there's a place where i want to be like with perfection but for this movie i had to be completely the way we see people who are not trained so for yeah. me to even fight the way we yeah i know i know yeah i had to just leave it all and i had to come from blocks to and yeah. for me it was quite new and uh, i have to give a lot of credit to farooq the director because he used to yeah. stream on the mic vidyut you are not commando you are samir so for you me know, i also like- i also believe that it is always the director you know who creates that space so that you can do what you can do it's always the director but i uh, it also is uh, takes courage from the actor's point of view i must uh, we must give ourselves a pat on our back when we do that so uh, no, we well done on that keep patting our backs backs a lot more than you do actually <laughs> you know i was watching uh, rithik i just watched uh, i think about a month back i watched this uh, batch of 2020 you did a conversation for motivational it was yeah. a motivational speech i have yeah, to yeah. tell you very cool man i loved the way you spoke from your heart and it was quite important thank you thank you i love the way i i read the messages and it's quite nice that you can change a lot of lives from your own experiences and it was very nice to watch it 
thanks a lot yeah i i really believed in that and uh, i think uh, uh, i think that is something that drives you as well you know you you i what i see in you is that you also want to cause some kind of change you want to inspire and uh, and you have been doing that and you've been doing that really well because it somehow you know through my mother through other somehow it came to my mom my mom through my mom it came to me i got to know about you i started to follow what, what uh, uh, all uh, things that you were saying uh, i followed your diet i know you're a vegetarian uh, and i really like that you keep yourself surrounded by nature and uh, the martial arts that that you are trained in tell tell me something more about that uh, it's called calorie pipe right perfectly said perfectly said calorie pipe perfectly calorie said calorie pipe is is something that is uh, is is completely keeps you functional and and uh, it uh, incorporates a lot of animal moves and uh, it's like being one with nature in an abstract way i had to I had to express how, what i feel feel about it but you but you tell me so calorie pad rithik it's i'm so proud of the fact that you said the name correctly because in india i don't okay. see many people saying it right they can talk about kung fu they talk about karate but when it comes to calorie pad they haven't heard this word a lot yeah that's true so for me calorie pad started with lord shiva and it came from lord shiva to parshuram from parshuram to bodhi dharma and this a man bodhi dharma went from india to the shaolin and he started this whole martial arts which very few people know so for me it's my duty that everybody in like i don't really want to inspire people like you said but for me it's very important for people to just be aware that this is the mother of all martial arts it is it is that's where it started it started here in india and we indians all, need all to just know arts. this because like like when i do something like if i'm on spears or if i'm balancing myself on bottles and people say oh with you i've seen one of the shaolin monks do it for me it's like saying that you know we started it we need to get it yeah. back we all are as yeah. fit yeah. the indians are the elitist beings in my opinion so for us uh, i feel very proud that i represent kalari pad and i feel very That's proud amazing. that yeah it's like you so you inspire so a generation if someone like more. me if someone like me wants to learn uh i'm 46 now and if i if i want to learn and uh or you know yeah if i want to learn is it so easy for is, me to start this is the most constant question that i get sir i'm 65 years old am i not too old to start so what you said i want to learn is where everything starts there's no yeah, age that's, that's you so should true. just have the desire i agree to learn. i agree yeah. and then the rest of the questions are just said by people oh you're too old you're too fat you're too thin yeah. then you just raise your own bar you can do That's anything so my man and you know it but do they have uh, do they have coaches more uh, is is this something that is widespread in in mumbai no in the, in the last 3 years i've noticed that a lot of uh, stuff has started coming on youtube very good stuff i feel very proud of it because normally i used to watch videos internationally and i used to i always wondered that this is ours so i really thank you for asking me this it's i want to say thank you to all the people who are promoting kalari pipe on social media i've been watching you whether you in kerala whether you in delhi whether you are you are in haryana i feel yeah. proud we need to get our legacy back this is ours i feel you man i feel i feel what you're saying and uh, i i also want to uh, try my hand at this i know you can do uh, anything it will be it will be tough are nahi yaar my body is all broken piano you also play no i watch you no oh, watch me um i am i mean i'm i'm trying to like uh, make the best use of my time so i'm learning a little bit of piano a little bit of uh, voice training i'm trying to sing <laughs> let's see uh kuch hoga uske saath to hoga for me khuda hafiz goes completely about untraining who i am yeah i could feel everything i've done from the way i walk and i realized whilst i was doing it that all the actors who made a mark have really worked really hard because yeah. they've gone through this journey that i've just stepped upon yeah and i was you know there's a yeah sorry, sorry to uh, interject no please please go on, please go on, go on. there's a so there's a scene that i 
Which one? Oh, the particular scene I really like. It's a scene where you're uh, you're on the hunt and you're on the search, and uh, yes. you go to the embassy, and there's a lady there, and you have to request her, and there is you're frightened, uh, you are desperate, you still have to be polite, and you have to be restrained. Uh, that particular scene really stood out for me because I I uh, saw that and I knew that yeah there's something about you that is very very special. There is something that is uh, you know there is a certain focus in your eyes. There's a certain and I think I I suspect that comes from the fact that you are you have disciplined yourself so much. You know you stand for something that you believe in. There's so much passion in you that uh, and you're humble at the same time. So there's a particular focus in your eyes which is very attractive, and uh, you use that so well. I mean, I don't think you used it, but I mean, you just happen to have have it. So it came across really well. I really uh, thought that that scene was a difficult scene to do, and uh, I also liked uh, uh, after a particular song, there's a there's a transformation that happens in your eyes after you go through some loss, and there's a transformation that happens, and you suddenly see that uh, there's a higher wisdom. that takes over you and that is when i realized that with you as uh, an individual all the uh, the the previous scene that i was seeing he was uh, pretending to be that now this is the higher intelligence of your being that you brought into the character you know uh, from your uh, your training and the the calm the composure all of that just came in and i understood that acha you know this is the journey of the character that he was trying to build from somebody who was uncertain scared to somebody who was calm composed and strong that uh, transformation also came across really well so i don't know how often man. does it happen with you rithik because this was my first time to experience this when i did that scene yeah. where i walk into that office of the indian embassy and i go to the lady sonia ji and i tell her that you know listen i've lost my wife and मुझे उसके बारे में कुछ पता नहीं है कहाँ है आई डोंट आई एम श्योर यू मस्ट हैव एक्सपीरियंस्ड इट सो मेनी टाइम्स फॉर मी एवरी टाइम आई वॉक इन टू दैट रूम आई हैव टीयर्स इन माय आईज आई आई वाज जस्ट आई जस्ट डिट नो व्हाट आई हैव टू से टू हर इन वर्ड्स बट आई न्यू द फीलिंग दैट आई सो आई एम श्योर यू गो थ्रू इट सो मेनी टाइम्स इट वाज माय फर्स्ट एंड आई लव्ड इट इट वाज अनबिलीवेबल दैट्स अमेजिंग दैट्स अमेजिंग You did a That's lot of those were, scenes were, in Super Thirty, right? Like so many times, completely down and out. Yeah, like, but uh, it, it takes me a lot of uh, effort. Uh, but uh, you were. I've never famous. cried in my life so much. I love crying. It's a it's a rarity that happens to me, and I really enjoy it. I like all these emotions: anger, jealousy, yeah. anxiety. I love these emotions. We should. And they're all very very important. Oh my God! Very, very I want. We I was, often stop ourselves from expressing, but what we just must we must express, you know, it lightens the soul. But you were you completely know, think, immersed in your character, you know. I think that's why it came so easily. You were completely immersed, and you believed it. You had that conviction to let go of the the external trappings of an action hero. You did not allow that side of you to seep into the character even for a second. You sacrificed it for the entire film, and that that's really praise praiseworthy. It shows me that you have integrity. and uh, also uh, you know i love the way khuda hafiz the title was used something is uh, i have a instagram saying something to me on and it's not going it says we limit how often you can do certain things but i am only doing an insta live dude can you please get out of my frame vidyut can can you see me You're beautiful. Oh, oh, I can't see you. I my my screen gone gone blank. I can see you. It's a bit hazy. It's looking quite nice. nice. Okay. Cloudy. Thank you very much. I like to see your beautiful face as well. But tell us if you it think you made a mistake. You. Instagram, you made a mistake. It's asking me whether it's making a mistake. What do I do? <laughs> it's not going. Help. Okay, with you, we're gonna have like I'm gonna pretend it's a phone chat now. So, uh, because I can't see. Uh... No, you know we were chatting about this. You know, like going going back to where we left from. I see mm. people, and I experience. Like I tell people, I think that the Hindi film industry is a spiritual journey for me. I'm so glad that the industry chose me 
to be part of it because the experiences that I've had over here, this is one place and which we were talking about is that I love the fact that if you're angry, you should just be angry. If you're nervous, mm -hmm. you should let the nervousness be. People just yeah, try and run away from it. And yeah. that's when they get sad, learn flick or all those things. So in this character, every time I felt the pain, I just, I just didn't let it go. That's fantastic. What's your also, process? I need to ask you this because you're one of those actors that people, if they get, get an opportunity, they should ask you. So what's your process of getting into a character? Uh, my, my process really is, is, is to uh, kind of collect as much information as I can, as much uh, as I know about the character. Uh, so I try and, uh, you know, question a lot of, uh, I try and ask as many questions as possible so that I get to know the character as much as possible. And that information, when your, your animation is the information about the character. Uh, so that really helps me. And that's where I start from. Uh, you know, that's my, my, my starting point. Uh, but uh, yeah, you know, the thing you said about the industry, the, the one thing that always uh, comes to my mind is that uh, the industry is a, is a fantastic uh, place. I, I'm, I'm here because I love cinema. Uh, and I think uh, uh, it's a place where you really get to test your character because uh, it, it can be very hard. It can be so rewarding that you might, you can lose your mind. So it tests your character in many, many ways. And I think that is uh, some, it's a playground for uh, your character. So I'm, I enjoy it because I, I love being tested. So uh, I agree with you. Uh, it's, it's a wonderful place to be. And uh, thanks, thanks to God that we are a part of. By the way, you are. Cinema, a, where... I think you're, you're, <clears throat> you're a boon to the Hindi film industry. You got everything Are perfectly yeah. packed. Yes, sir. Good We you all, we all, we all trying. We all workers. <laughs> yeah, but you know, while you were saying, for me, uh, the process of learning anything, like when I watch something or something comes into my mind, and I want to like put it in action. I'm talking about a physical ability that I garner. Yeah. Uh, I've realized my technique is this, get every information about it to yourself. Like, what is it that I can't do? What is it that uh, seems difficult to me? Get all the information in your okay. head, yep. subtract it, and then go for it. So you're yeah, acting. Everything is the same process. That's what I yeah. figured. That's exactly what I do. And I don't think there is a better way than that. Anna? So, you know, Rithik, I have this show on YouTube called X-Ray. Why I started is, is because when I speak to journalists and they talk to me about fitness, and I'm sure you, they ask you the same questions that they ask me. For example, what do you eat? Uh, when do you sleep? Blah, 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 blah. So I realized that the fans don't really get the real answers because what I eat, how much I sleep, how much I train will not they make them look the way we are, you and I. Yeah, that's true. Right? That's true. So I what do you do on the, show, on the channel? I started the show where I asked fitness legends, like I spoke to Tony Jaa, I spoke to Michael Jaa White, about the things that I wanted them to ask me, mm. the journalist. Right. So that's why I asked you your process, because I would really, that, that's why the curiosity came. And what does Rithik Roshan do? How does he get into this? But you know, the, the bottom line is, and also uh, I have subscribed to your channel already before I came on this uh, Insta Live. So I'm going to watch. I already saw one where you were explaining uh, your vegetarian diet and I got inspired. And someday I have to uh, go completely vegetarian and uh, that day is coming soon. So uh, I'm going to use your uh, platform to uh, kickstart that process in my mind because I, I really feel that that is uh, you know, going to be the, the future of all our diets, uh, go vegetarian. Um, yeah. Rithik, do you want to read a few messages from all the Jambalians and all your people? You know, I want to just say uh, a lot of love to your fans. I want to tell them that I love the way you know, it's a you pity guys... I can't see anything because my screen is blank. Let's do a phone chat then, just like that. Can you see me? Black. Anyways. 
क्या क्या बोल रहे थे आप सो मैं बोल रहा था यार ग्रेट रिस्पेक्ट टू ऑल योर फैंस फ्रॉम माय साइड आई वांट टू से टू देम दैट यू गाइस हैव बीन रियली काइंड टू अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल दे यू स्टैंड बाय द स्टार दैट वी ऑल रिस्पेक्ट सो कुडोस टू यू यू गाइस आर अमेजिंग आई फील द रिस्पेक्ट व्हेन यू गिव एंड दिस मैन डिजर्व्स ऑल द रिस्पेक्ट ऑल द काइंडनेस बिकॉज़ ही इज वर्दी ऑफ इट एंड ही इज अ रियली ग्रेट गाय ही इज अ सुपर टैलेंटेड ह्यूमन बीइंग Uh, I love the relationship Prithik you have with your mom. I'm a mama's boy by the way I want to tell you. I could be like this action <laughs> whoever but mama's boy for sure always. And I watch you with that your mom. Really and sweet. And I agree what he said uh, you know sometimes uh, we have good days and uh, sometimes we have bad days and uh, the support that we get from our fans is something that uh, we can we should never take for granted. Uh, you know and and uh, kind of like give give uh, uh, give them a silent promise that that uh, we continue to keep working hard for them so that you know we can always deserve that love hai na bahut sahi hai you know that the fans i like i watch people i talk about jamalians who i love you know they have this fiery yeah. there are these different kinds of people in a army one of these really fiery ones one of these very sensible ones one of these really kind ones one of these people who try and get the whole family together i love mm. these fans they're bigger than anything in this world that i know of that's so sweet yeah but uh, so going about have to remember, remember they yeah, know they are here most. because i said you have to remember that that, that they are here uh, because of your hard work and what you're making them feel so you have to continue making them feel alive and uh, i think you will always because you have that integrity in you and i i know that you will always give your best and that's what uh, i also believe that you know we just need to keep giving our best uh, to whatever we do it doesn't matter if it's a, a success or a failure as long as you keep giving your best you're going to be okay yeah fans are like mothers they will only praise you i see my pictures and i'm like dude i'm looking so bad in this and they're like with you jamal's favorite picture You know, Rithik, when my mom watched Commando Three, uh, mm. she came out of the theater and she called me and she's like, "I loved you. You were so good." Blah blah blah. Singhu, I have a story to tell. The best action is only my son does. Now you should do some other roles. So ah. much jumping. All this you have to stop. So I'm like, okay, okay, nice. I heard. Then she watched Khuda Hafiz. She was like, "Wow, you're so good." Then she watched Khuda Hafiz. She was like, "Wow, you're so good." Then she watched Khuda Hafiz. She was like, "Wow, you're so good." Then she watched Khuda Hafiz. She was like, "Wow, you're so good." Then she watched Khuda Hafiz. She was like, "Wow, you're so good." Then she watched Khuda Hafiz. She was like, "Wow, you're so good." Then she watched Khuda Hafiz. She was like, "Wow, you're so good." Then she watched Khuda Hafiz. She was like, "Wow, you're so good." Then she watched It doesn't look nice on you. I love moms. She didn't want the but blood was, on her face. So sweet. Yeah. But what does your mom film, say man? about your risky jumps and stunts you do? Yeah, she doesn't need to because I uh, I've done a lot of that, and uh, you know when I did those kind of uh, stunts, I was uh, trained I think in the in the, the the wrongest ways because there was no technique, there was no. Uh, no nobody there to guide you as to how to train for a particular action uh, uh, stunt uh, so i did it all the wrong way and i injured like my all the parts of my body uh, but now uh, you know we have people like you uh, there's tiger there's, there's there are so many of uh, uh, the actors uh, in uh, the new generation now who are like examples of the right technique you know uh, from diet to technique to being trained uh professionally uh is something that uh, you know is very very inspiring and i think today i am trying now since i think uh, since i started war i have started to adopt those techniques otherwise first it was all about just the aesthetic sense you know just get the muscles and look good and uh, you know stand in a particular way look hot and and that was it but uh, now it's really about fitness it's about health and uh, thanks to you that we are we are getting more uh, informed and more educated which is which is great which is what we need it's what i need thank you you know in culinary by the way i can't i can't see you at all huh? i i'm staring at uh, just a blank uh, screen which uh, says try again later and it says your bi- instagram your is continuously asking your t-shirt apart that's the best thing it is telling me tell us if you think we made a mistake that's like it's actually asking me that <laughs> what do i say yes you have you're making a mistake 
So, Vidyut, what's uh, next on your uh, plan? So I'm excited for the lockdown to get over completely. I'm hoping that everybody gets safe, man, and then we start working. Everybody yeah, I know, whether, whether they're technicians or they're any department, the time to be on the set. Everybody I know wants to go back to the jobs. So just like anybody else, I'm excited to be on the set. I want to meet all the people. Yeah, but I, I'm sure you're making the best of your days. That's what we should do. Just keep making the I best of your days. Use all our resources moment. right now. I have slept like a log. I slept for two and a half days. I woke <laughs> up one morning, Hrithik, and Man, I felt lucky. sleepy. So I, don't so get I went back so to easily. sleep. I had a cup of tea, went back to sleep. After a while, I woke up with a small <laughs> need, went out to sleep. So I wanted to test how much can I sleep. I slept for two and a half days. That's incredible. What did you do unique? Apart from the what piano. What did I do unique? Yeah, I uh, no, used the time really well. Yeah, 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 I use the time really well. Yeah, I uh, I'm uh, trying to learn how to sing. I am uh, also uh, spending a lot of time, uh, you know, fixing my fixing myself. Uh, there are a lot of small small injuries that I've sustained over the years, and uh, it's kept me, you know, slowly slowly. It's it's uh, made me a little bit uh, of a you know, it's made me, it slowed me down. So I am fixing myself. I am uh, using all kinds of uh, uh, things, you know, learning, and I'm just fixing myself. So I spend about